Ciao from the sunny Parma and we are here with Naima and Ricardo, my excellent guides of Emilia Romagna. Uh, today we will take you in this wonderful city to discover amazing history and the city of gastronomy. Wandering around Parma is a beautiful city, it's a beautiful sunny day. We are actually on the Via Emilia, which is uh, the, one of the most important trade routes in Italy, uh, connecting almost all the cities in our region. And we are now approaching to Piazza Garibaldi, which is one of the most important square in Parma. bell tower of the town hall of Parma and you see on the in the front not only the normal clock but even the solar clock it was a very ancient method to measure the time used for some centuries now not so common because there are very big differences between the official time and the solar time in each city so now is not very used and if you watch the solar time in Parma is almost 10.30, 10.25, 10.30, but in fact is 5 minutes to 11. A place you can't miss in Parma is the shop dedicated to the Violetta. Violetta is a flower and was the Duchess Maria Luigia uh, favorite flowers and uh, a perfume has been produced but not only a perfume also soap and other beautiful things that i think we should visit welcome to color viola is uh, an amazing shop and is dedicated to the violetta as i said is the flower that was the favorite flower of the, of the duchess maria luigia and we are with maria luisa she is the owner of this place and she will tell us uh, why this place is here questo negozio è dei primi del novecento è proprio il borsari dove appunto c'è la violetta di Parma. all'inizio era profumeria adesso noi abbiamo aggiunto i dolci Eh, gioielle la violetta, tutto alla violetta. E questo negozio è, come vede l'abbiamo lasciato come era, cercato di lasciarlo proprio come era e in quel tempo, quindi abbiamo questa vetrina, dopo le farò vedere, che ruota su se stessa e viene dentro e si chiude il portoncino. E noi appunto come le dicevo abbiamo il profumo, i dolci, eh, tutto quanto un turista può desiderare. Prego, le caramelle, i cioccolatini con sopra le viole candite, liquore, miele e tè. We are walking to the cathedral and the batister of Parma. Which is the name of this street? We have no idea. <laughs> something about the baptistry. The baptistry in Parma is one of the most important monuments here. It's been made by the clever architect Benedetto Antelami and uh, has been made in the late 12th century. Uh, the beautiful decoration on the main facade explain what the baptistry used for and what people that have to be baptized have to do before and after being baptized. Fantastic mosaics 
All these mosaics here belong to the 4th century. It means that are Roman mosaics, very, very old and very, very impressive. If you want to know something more about the history of the city, this is the right place. Inside the baptistry is fully, fully decorated, beautiful decoration, beautiful frescoes, and especially something which is amazing and unique are all the representation of the calendar. It's called Ciclo dei Mesi in Italian. Every little sculpture is representing a moment of the farmer's life, showing the harvest, race of animals and so on. Even if it is a very, very old place, people are still baptized here. As you can see, it's full of water as the service is still the 12th century cathedral in Parma is dedicated to Santa Maria Assunta, a beautiful monument made by the same clever architect Benedetto Antelami. A visit inside is worth it as the dome is completely decorated by an artist called Correggio. Uh, is one of the first artists who represented the Baroque style. centers as uh, you have to visit this place. This is a fantastic place for the panini, the typical panini in Parma and you will realize the meaning of the centers of the name and uh, Laura, she is the owner, will tell you what is typical here in Parma. Tipico, tipico in Parma ce ne sono tante di cose. Noi, vabbè, uno dei panini più tipici che facciamo però va da Da giugno a ottobre è la vecchia. La vecchia è un piatto di recupero che si fa con peperoni, cipolle, patate fritte nello strutto e macinato di cavallo. Si salta tutto in padella e alla fine si mette dentro il panino. Ne abbiamo tanti altri di panini tipici, il panino col bollito, il panino con la lingua, il panino con i guanciadini brasati, oppure anche l'arrosto di maiale nero è tipico. Non è tanto tipico l'arrosto quanto il maiale che è la nostra razza antica di Parma, insomma. Yummy, yummy. Thank you, chef. Your panini were delicious. Grazie, <laughs> ciao. Uh, now we are in front of Banchini, one of the historical chocolate shops of uh, Parma. And uh, the chocolate is produced not only in Parma, of course, but uh, this one is very ancient because it was created at the end of the 19th century. And uh, there are some uh, special products, like for example the biscuit of Duquesse, the biscotti della Duquesse that are uh, traditional of this place, like other kind of chocolate with flavor uh, of some uh, traditional herbs and uh, aromatic herbs of Italy. Ciao! Now we are in the area of the ancient market, uh, il Mercato Vecchio of Parma, the, the area where there were the most of uh, shops, uh, craft shops uh, in the ancient city. And we are in front of uh, the Prosciutteria Romani, one of the gastronomy shops, one of the best shops where to purchase uh, uh, cured meats uh, and uh, charcuteries, uh, where you can see here on the windows uh, prosciutti, salami, coppe, coppa piacentina, culatelli, latte, 
a fiocco di culatta and a fiocchetto are different catch of the pig and uh, different catch give different flavor seasoned uh, very often in slightly different ways and give different uh, final taste so uh, you obtain different uh, cured meats and they can be sliced and eaten uh, in several ways Welcome to the other side of the Parma River, is the same name of the city, and Parma means a shield. It was a special Etruscan shield, that's why the name. We are in the Ducal Garden, and uh, behind me there's the Ducal Palace, which has been uh, built during the 16th century by the Farnese family, that was the most important lordship in Parma. Okay, so for today, this is the last point of our tour so I want to say you goodbye to the next uh, YouTube uh, video so don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell follow us bye, bye. bye.